in the heart of Ghana's power landscape, a monumental shift is underway. The relocation of the Erswa Ameri power plant, now named Awumasu Thermal Power Station ATPS, signifies not only the installation of an engineering infrastructure, but also a transformation in vision and capability by engineers from the Volta River Authority VRA. Sanctioned by the Ministry of Energy and propelled by recommendations from a Ghana grid company Gridco Technical Study, this project responds to a pressing need. The improvement in reliability and quality of power supply in Greater Kumasi and the northern parts of the country, along with a significant reduction in the amount of electricity lost in the transmission of power to consumers in the country. The Volta River Authority VRA took on this task, understanding it as more than just another project and seeing it as a historic national mission. It is a narrative of Ghanaian expertise rising up to meet the nation's demands. Through its own internally generated funds, the VRA in the middle of 2023 completed the licensing, permitting and relevant studies required to commence the relocation of the 250 megawatt power plant. They then went ahead and procured a contractor to start preparing the grounds in Kumasi to receive the equipment. After several stakeholder engagements and with support from the Ministry of Energy, VRA's management made a bold decision in July 2023 to entrust the entire decommissioning, relocation, reassembly and commissioning of General Electric Manufactured Power Generating Units, Switchyard and Gas Interconnection Facilities into the hands of VRA's in-house engineering professionals. For the first time in history, Ghanaian engineers would lead the charge. Decommissioning a massive 250 megawatt power plant located in Abuazi in the western region and then meticulously transporting and reassembling it in Kumasi marked a turning point, a testament to capability and confidence, a truly brave and historic endeavour for the nation. The VRA project team set out to immediately decommission six of the GE power generation units, including Generation 7 aeroderivative gas turbines, gas receiving stations, medium voltage and low voltage switch gears, emergency diesel generators, a 7 bay diameter switch yard, and five 60 MVA transformers. The associated gas supply infrastructure system was also decommissioned. With each passing day, the various aspects of the power plant were carefully dismantled, preserved and prepared for a new chapter in the Ashanti region. Baj Freight, another Ghanaian company, worked with the VRA team on the monumental task of transporting the massive and highly sensitive generation equipment. The long convoys were escorted by a well-coordinated security team from the Ghana Armed Forces and the Ghana Police Service, ensuring safety and security during the 287km journey from Abuazi through Cape Coast, Yamaranza and then finally to Awomaso in Kumasi. Imagine the scene, colossal generators being carefully transported across the nation, a testament to meticulous planning and unwavering determination. Every milestone achieved brought Ghana closer to completing the project. On September 11, 2023, the reassembly of the GETM 2500 power generating units and the associated auxiliaries commenced. This was followed by the reinstallation of switchyard equipment transformers and gas supply infrastructure. Days, nights, weeks and months of tireless work culminated in a moment of national pride. The Awumasu Thermal Power Station ATBS, stands not only as a structure but also as a testament to Ghana's resilience, innovation and commitment to progress. What was once an idea is now a fully operational power station with the capacity to generate 150 megawatts of electricity and an additional 100 megawatts, also to be soon relocated, totaling 
250 megawatts when the second phase of the project is completed. As the turbines of the ATBS power station spin, they power not just machines, but the dreams of the Ghanaian engineering spirit. This is more than a power plant. It's a symbol, a symbol of Ghana's potential, a symbol of harmonic collaboration among Ghanaian institutions, a symbol of visionary leadership and a monument representing the deeds of an empowered people. The ATBS is a testament to what can be achieved when vision meets courage and a nation unites behind a brighter tomorrow. Special appreciation goes to His Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Akufuado, President of the Republic of Ghana, the Asantehene Otumfo Oseitutu II, and the Honorable Minister for Energy, Dr. Matthew Opokuprempe, for their visionary leadership, and also to the Ghana Grid Company Gridco, GNPC, Gensa Energy Ghana Limited, KNUSC, the Ghana Armed Forces, and ECG for their support in making the project a reality. We again extend a warm thank you to the chiefs and people of Awomaso and the Oforikrom Municipal Assembly, to every person and institution that contributed to the success of this project, we say Ayeko.